Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will discuss how we can rank our website on Google, whether it is React based or maybe just simple HTML or JavaScript or maybe any other JavaScript based framework or simple React. So if I show you right here, if I search Punjab Power Retrify, you can see my website ranks on the top. You can check it yourself. I have checked it using various VPNs and uh, I have found this on the top. So this is my website. I worked on this in my last video. You can check that out if you're interested. But uh, in today's video, we will see like how you can rank your website on Google like I did using a simple tool called Google Search Console. So let me just show you guys how it looks like. So this is the interface basically you get. You get all of your assets that or websites that you want to rank. Basically, I have a lot of them. And this is the one that I did recently. So if I just go to the overview and you will be able to see the total amount of traffic that you're getting from Google and all of the other metrics that you can see. So if I just search it right here. And it will show that yeah, URL is on Google. So my website has been indexed. It is on Google. Google knows about it. And whenever someone searches it, it will appear on the top. So I don't have to type the URL manually. Now, you can do this for your website also. It's just simple process. Just go to the Google Search Console like I did and click on the Add Property button. And here, you might want to carefully select which one your option is so if you own the domain of your website like in my case i do not own the domain it's a free hosting netlify so i don't own the whole domain so i will be using url prefix because i'm just using a subdomain of the netlify actual domain but if you own the domain you can go here and right here you can just type the url of the website like in this case let me just try to redo it oh okay that's weird okay let me just try to retype the url even though i have already added it before so yeah and i'll click on continue and yeah okay so this one won't work let me just try another one that hasn't been added before so this is also one of my websites and uh, i've also made a video about it let's try to add this one yeah let me just paste it here and enter and this will like pull up all the details about the website if it has been crawled before and here basically as you can see verify ownership so i need to verify if i am the actual owner of the website so um let's see i usually go with the second option that is the html tag add a meta tag to your site's home page so basically we need to copy this meta tab and just add it between the head of our head head sack of our main index.html so let's just do that okay so this is one of my projects and here in the public section this is react based project and here you might be able to see this index.html basically this is the file that will be shared with the browser that will contain all the javascript code and then all the content will load on the client side so in the head tag like here the head tag begins we can add it right here between all these meta tags and just save it and then i will redeploy it to netlify and just i'll be right back okay and i have deployed the new version to netlify with the meta tag so uh, this one was earlier before adding the meta tag and this one is after adding the meta tag and if you will be able to see there's a meta tag named google site verification which you won't be able to find in the earlier version so now it has it and if i try to verify it again so html tag and click on verify this will basically fetch the data of the site and yeah as you can see ownership verified we can directly go to property and this will show us all the metrics but currently 
this website of mine, Exemplify, it is not on Google, so it is not indexed. As I can show you right here, if I type Exemplify, Netify, it won't show up because it is not indexed right now. So we can do it right away. We can just uh, go to our console, type in the URL of our website. Okay, let's just see if the URL was copied correctly. And seems like it. Okay, it's retrieving the data. And as you can see, URL is not on Google. So yeah, it is not indexed yet. So what you can basically do, the most simplest thing that you can do right now is click on request indexing. So before that, you can also do something like adding more meta tags. You can get them generated from ChatGPT or Gemini. And like in this description, you can tell about your website, like what it does, what's all the uh, aim of your website so that Google and the crawler might will be able to rank it properly and will know exactly what your website is about. So in my case, if the website is about Punjab power, if I see the source code, I have added all kinds of keywords to make it rank more. So whenever someone searches something about these keywords, my website would show up. And if you don't want to do that right now, and you just want to rank it based on the name of the website, you can do that too. You just uh, need to click on request indexing. And let me just do it. And it will go to your website uh, using the crawler. The crawler of Google will manually go to the website, whether it is uh, client side or server side, that does not matter. And it takes a few minutes. And yeah indexing requested so url was added url was added to a priority crawl queue submitting a page multiple times will not change yeah of course so basically what it says is that indexing has been requested when the crawler gets the crawler will basically go to the website and index it in a couple hours like it takes generally around five to six hours to get the website index and after that we will be able to see this particular website on Google in top search results probably so let's see how it goes so finally it's been more than 24 hours since we submitted our website for indexing on Google search console and now let's see if it has been indexed yet and if we are able to see it on Google so I'll type just example for Netlify and as you can see it appears in the top results, just like the other ones. Uh, now, the thing is that you might be wondering why do I need to add or contain the Netlify keyword? Well, that's because in my specific domain, uh, I have hosted my website on Netlify and the domain it contains Netlify inside it. And since Google is a search engine, it prioritizes the domain name. So that's why I need to include Netlify. But if you will, uh, I mean, if you will use a better SEO, like if you will add more keywords to your description and use better meta tags with uh, search engine optimized keywords, then you definitely will be able to appear even without the Netlify keyword. It's just about trust. If the search engine trusts you, then it's all good. You will be able to appear just like the other websites. So, yeah, that's it. We have implemented what we began. I guess that is the end of the video.